Most people are wondering, why did I not bring my hat? <laughs> why did I not bring my hat on this mission? Well, I got to do a little water cross to make this happen. I got to cross right through here barefoot, get on the rocks, put my shoes back on, maybe. And then I'm going to go all the way up in here, under this tree. There's Moss Glen Falls there. My goal is to get out here and make it happen. I don't recommend most people doing this kind of crazy business, but hey, I'm not most people. You want the shot? You gotta go after it. Nobody else is doing it. It's a great day. The water's pretty... The water's cold. I don't just say it that. It's cold. It's coming off the mountain for crying out loud. Look at that. It's coming off the mountain. The water's cold. I have a choice. I can go through in my boots and get my boots all crud, but I don't really want to do that. So I got to do this barefoot. And it's rock. So I'm going to use my tripod to steady. I would assume walking very slowly by the time I hit this rock plateau right here, I'm probably going to be frozen. But it's worth it. It's totally worth it. I got to get the shot. I came all the way. I came all the way here. I got to get it. I got to get it. Time to take my shoes off and do a little water cross. Let's see in the flip side. All right. <laughs> Had to take the old boots off. Had to take the old boots off and ford this. The water's actually not nearly as cold as I was expecting. I want to show this to you before I shoot it. Right there. Right there is where the tourists get to take shots from. I'm not exactly a tourist. However, I do have to keep my wits about me. I didn't realize that Moss Glen Falls was as uh, interesting as it is. This was a tree. This right here. I gotta go under that. Um, that right there was a tree. Rocks do fall frequently. But I wanted to show you why I did this today. Might have to cut Wednesday. I hope I don't, but I want to show you why I did this today. Everybody's content, right? Everybody's content with up there. I'm a photographer. I don't come to be content. I come to be blown away. I come to be a stat, son. Why, why am I here? That's the waterfall right there. That's why I'm here. I really want to shoot it from the other side, but I can't get there. I want to shoot it from over there. I can't get there. This is deep. This is all deep. This is a nice bowl right here, so I can't really get there. So I'm probably going to have to shoot it from this particular rock. I really want that, but... Stuff falling, too. Gotta be careful. But I mean, come on. This is why you... I'm balanced above water right now. You didn't become a photographer to stand up there and get a shot. No! You become a photographer to get down in the mud and get it. To get down in the mud and get it. Let's go get it. What am I shooting with today? Well, here's what I'm shooting with today. I'm shooting with the uh, Sony A6300. I'm going to try not to do a kit lens with it. I'm going to try to actually shoot with uh, with adapted lenses on this shot. Because the kit lens, even though I know I'll be able to darken it, I probably won't be able to darken it that much. Kit lens, I could darken it at least to F18. Manual, which gives me a better shot. Rocks everywhere, man. So let's go set this up and see what we get.
Oh boy! Alright, so what I ended up doing is I ended up using the uh, Sony 6300. I didn't actually pull the 6000 out for this because it's got a bigger lens on it, it didn't really change it out. I pulled the 6300 out. I did throw down some really cool, phenomenal um, stills with my subject moss climb today. It is flowing, it is ripping. And as you can see probably behind me, there's nothing there but trees and rocks and I'm like right down in the bowl of this thing, it's great. Um, there's some nice little debris over there, you can see the rock slides do happen. This is kind of rock that come loose from the boat. You gotta use your head on this. But uh, I got the kit lens, the Sony uh, 3.5, uh, 3, uh, yeah, that thing, 16 to 50, I had to do the cut lens. I just, like I'd be out of tell, right? You can hear the collapses of the, of the wake in there every once in a while. It freaks you out, you think the boulder's coming here. Um, I'm going to try to fire off a few more of those bows. But to get the whole waterfall, I had to use the So here we go. Let's get back out. And I got to tell you, I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm trying not to scream too loud. Hopefully you can hear me. This is what I want to do with my life. This is what I want to do with my life. Coming here today, seeing this. This is why I'm selling off all my stuff. This is, this is why I'm selling my stuff off right now. I'm selling everything in my apartment, everything that I own, to do this. This is what's important to me right now. Stuff, you know, stuff doesn't, doesn't fail in comparison to this. Stuff doesn't matter. What I'm doing, people, why I'm selling my stuff off, people think I'm crazy. I don't care, man. To be here, Doing this on this adventure, this is what I want my life to be about. I will, I will gladly live in a van. I will gladly live in 50 square feet. I, whatever I must do to make this happen. I'm a photographer. It's what I do. It's who I am. Seeing this, taking this, being brave enough to walk across the frozen water to get here, this is my life. This is what I want full time. This is what I'm pursuing. Go after your dreams, people. See ya. So I'm walking out. Um, amazing. Amazing. What I was able to do with the uh, kit lens was really awesome, too. I, I didn't even need a uh, filter. I really think I need to get a filter, though. But I don't really be spending lots of money in filters for various lenses. So I got to identify the two biggest lenses that I think I'm going to shoot with and put filters on those. Um, I'm not going to get a filter for the Sigma for Canon, the Sigma 18 to 300 mil. I am not, I'm not going to get a filter for that. It just costs too much money. Um, it's like a hundred and something dollars just for a filter. So what I might do is I might see if I can find a filter for the Minolta lens, the 45-2 the 45 f2 that i'm shooting with um, the 40 i think it's a 45 f2 um, the 45 f2 comes up to something crazy like 60 or 70 millimeters or something so it's just under 80 millimeters um it's great blows bokeh like nobody's business gets stuff tacked sharp um it's an f2 lens and it cost me like 50 bucks 60 bucks tops um, I bought it from a camera store, which they're going to charge you a little bit more because they know what they got. But you can find them on eBay for 10 bucks. You can find them at yard sales for, oh, you, you just take that camera out, we don't care, and then just pull the lenses off it and get adapters. So, something on the So, what did we do today? Well, we got the video, we shot that, we got some still, got that. Um, I gotta go back to Facebook. Uh, anyway, um, what else did we do today? We got Moss Glen Falls proper, not from the uh, not from the tourist perch either, from the falls itself. It's probably not the cleanest water, considering like farm runoff and everything. 
Do you like that slime on top of that? It's usually not a good sign. It means it's also flowing through the falls too. And it's everywhere. It's pollution big time. I mean, look at it. You see that sheen on there? That's not normal. Pollution. That's what man's doing right there. Beaver's doing this. He's been busy. He's been really busy. Beaver has gone crazy building. He's got like a moat. He killed this tree though. Too much water. Killed that tree, but he's got a moat going on. <coughs> anyway, so I gotta go back and edit these. I'm gonna post all of the I'm gonna post all the exit data. Um, he's even got himself get this. Mr. or Mrs. or both beaver. I'm assuming they got a, a tunnel that goes through here, but I mean, look at this. He's even got himself a, uh, a hot tub. Hey, why not, right? We are in like Stowe or Waterbury or wherever. We're Stowe, I think. We are in Stowe. Last one fall. Stowe. Huh? Hey, why not? <sighs> Anyways, I'm back to the truck now. I've had a phenomenal day of shooting and it's not even over. And uh, I'm going to go run, see if I can find some food. And uh, this day's given me a lot to reflect on. I didn't even plan to come in here. I know that I'm doing the right thing now. I know that selling all my belongings so I can get mobile and do this photography thing mobily. That's really what I should be doing. Anyways. T.C. Putnam State Forest, Burt Hollow Block, Moss Glen Falls. A plus, had a good time. Got some great photos, got wet. Waded through the water. And on to the next.